once you've traced your freezer paper templates and you've layered them, you're ready to cut them out. It's important to remember that you use your paper scissors for this. Again, I've marked my paper scissors with a little band so that way I know which ones are for my paper projects and which ones are for my fabric projects. I've also already prepared here the fabric that these go on. And the great thing with freezer paper, it's like a little sticky note. They can be uh, placed on the fabric and then removed at a later time whenever you're ready to either remove your template or if you don't like how your fabric has been placed. The great thing about the freezer paper is once you have it ironed on, if you're fussy cutting, you can hold it up to the light and see the placement of your fabric, which I do a lot of times with that. So when you are ironing your freezer paper template to your fabric, it's important to turn the steam off. Um, it will start to wilt your shapes and they'll start to curl and, and uh, curl and curve whenever you leave the steam on. So once you have your template how you want it, you just iron it on there. And you're ready to start. Again, if you're not pleased the way your freezer paper has gone on, you simply remove it and you can start again.